I'm Willie Grove. This is Coach Dan Ift of the Dover Tornadoes. Wow, it's been another year, and here we are again. How you doing? I'm good. Both of us are a little bit whiter in the top of our heads there, but yeah, we're good. You didn't notice that. Yeah. Well, Dan, um, talk to me about the, the makeup of this year's team. Uh, you know, you've done this uh, going into 29 years now as a head coach. Um, what do you see, and uh, what are you expecting? Well, obviously, every team I think expects a great deal out of their uh, their team as we get ready for the season. Everybody's excited. Uh, we've got a really, uh, we think a really mature and, and a senior offensive line, and those guys obviously some of them will play defensive line as well. Uh, we think we have good speed uh, across the board for us. We have a lot of track kids that, that are out right now, and, uh, and we feel pretty comfortable with uh, with that mix of athletes and, and size. Uh, but again, the, the big thing is we only have uh, twelve juniors in our junior class, so. There's a limit uh, uh, as far as like what kind of look we get during during the week. We have to work on our sophomores, and they're coming, but they're young to give us the uh, the look we need in preparation for Friday night's games. And then obviously with everybody, it's the injury factor. You know, we can stay uh, we stay healthy, we can develop ourselves into a pretty good team. Uh, you know, last year uh, injuries uh, played a big role in our season. Hopefully, uh, you know, we stay healthy this year. Seems like uh, this year, at least the scrimmages I've seen. Uh, you do have to rely on more of the younger kids. Mm-hmm. Um, are they coming along as far as everything they need to catch for varsity football? They, they are. And it's always like, I hate to use the word, but it's a process. And, you know, every week they get a little bit better. We tell them get 1% better per day, and, and they are doing that. Uh, you know, we had some guys shine in the, the second half of our scrimmage the other day that are going to be getting more and more looks as the season progresses here. It was good to see that. Uh, we've got uh, you know some young skill kids, some young receivers, young quarterback, young running backs. Uh, same with the secondary, uh, but they are talented kids. So uh, hopefully they catch on in a hurry. The, the deal is the the season and the games we play are a real quick baptism. So they're they're going to have to get uh, get uh, good in a hurry. But uh, that uh, nothing helps them like playing good competition. Now the hand that's been dealt, of course, uh, Dover, an independent school, uh, tough scheduling, isn't it? Uh, just coming up with. Teams it is, and it's a, it's a full-time, all-year process for uh, Coach McCrate, uh, Tim McCrate, our athletic director, and, and uh, you know, sometimes we're filling those last games at the end of May. Uh, it's just very difficult uh, to get people to, uh, to come. Many times, nobody calls you and says, I think you're going to beat us, let's play. You know, they, they call you because they think they're going to win the game. Obviously, they have a good group of kids and they want to play, and that's fine. Uh, you know, but those calls uh, that we make to people, we get turned down a lot. So uh, not that we're this superhuman team or anything of that nature, but for whatever reason, uh, some people don't want to step outside the box, you know, and, and some do, which is good. Uh, but nonetheless, it's very difficult for, for, for Tim. Uh, like I said, we've got to go to Canfield and then to Columbus the very next week. And that's a long haul down to Columbus. And, and then we play a team from West Virginia week nine, and they're a good quality team in, in week nine. So uh, it's one of those deals where you, you kind of take what you can get. So talk to me. We're in week number one, and uh, Green is the opponent. Uh, what do you know about them and uh, the fact that they're Federal League and uh, pretty big school? They are. Uh, two years ago, they pulled a major upset in the state of Ohio, I would think, and, and defeating Masson Mas- in the second round of the playoffs. Uh, they run a five-wide uh, offense like we had run for years. Uh, they do get into some one-back and two-back sets, but – you know, they want to throw the ball. They've got athletes, and, and I think the coach has done a nice job of figuring out that, you know, playing in federal league, it's, it's a really kind of a rock-pound type of uh, a league where we're going to smash mouth, and uh, some of these schools might have a little bit bigger kids than me, and maybe more. And so, you know, let's let's do what we can do. We always had a philosophy that if you can't run through them, you got to go over top of them. And I think uh, they're doing the same thing, and they've done it quite successfully. And then defensively, they're, they've changed from a four-down into a three down lineman look although they can give you a four down line look uh and again the athletes are on the other side of the ball they get a couple of really aggressive kids and some very talented youngsters and i think he deploys them pretty well again we're visiting with coach dan ift of the dover tornadoes and coach once again I want to thank you for visiting with us here on coach's corner thank you willie it's great to be here